Tesla Optimus humanoid robot is one of the few products that has garnered widespread public support and interest, thanks to Tesla's reputation and credibility. According to Elon Musk, Optimus is the world's smartest robot. With proprietary technology integrated into its components, it is designed to handle all the tedious tasks that humans prefer to avoid. Notably, with Tesla Bot Gen 3, the number of useful tasks the robot can perform has increased to 1,000. From cleaning to more complex tasks, it can handle everything humans set up. That's what we'll dive into in today's episode, and welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. How Tesla Optimus Will Create a Booming Market Elon Musk believes that the demand for Optimus could reach billions of dollars, and Tesla is the only company capable of mass-producing robots on a large scale. While the electric vehicle market is fiercely competitive with numerous choices for consumers, the humanoid robot sector still lacks a true competitor. Recently, Elon Musk revealed plans to manufacture 10,000 Optimus robots at Tesla's Fremont factory, emphasizing that production scale will ramp up rapidly from there. This means Tesla could produce 1,000 robots in the first quarter, with the number potentially reaching 10,000 by the end of the year. However, it is important to note that Tesla will not be selling Optimus this year. The robots produced will primarily be used within Tesla's own factories, deployed on assembly lines and warehouses and across various departments. Tesla's goal is not to maximize profits or replace humans with robots, but to focus on internal applications first. That said, from the very beginning Optimus has been envisioned as an ideal household assistant. In Tesla's promotional videos, the robot is shown performing tasks such as cleaning, serving drinks, receiving packages, and watering plants. Elon Musk believes that if Optimus proves to be truly useful, everyone will want to own one. Imagine daily tasks such as cleaning, cooking, washing dishes, or caring for loved ones being handled by a $20,000 robot. Optimus can operate continuously for nearly 10 hours, thanks to Tesla's advanced 4680 battery. Equipped with artificial intelligence and state-of-the-art sensors, the robot can complete tasks with precision, flexibility, and dexterity comparable to a human. Optimus Gen 3 is the most advanced version to date, capable of meeting a wide range of needs, from sorting clothes and preparing meals to caring for children or the elderly. Tesla plans to launch a more advanced version by mid-2026, marking the transition from internal applications to widespread commercialization. To make this vision a reality, Tesla is executing an ambitious production plan, currently manufacturing 1,000 robots per month, scaling up to 10,000 per month next year, and reaching 100,000 per month as production expands. By 2027, Elon Musk believes Tesla will be capable of producing up to 1 million humanoid robots per year. How does Tesla Optimus's brain work? For the AI brain to function effectively and determine the most precise walking posture, the sensors of the Tesla bot must be highly accurate in detecting terrain and transmitting information to the processing software. What truly amazes us is the processing speed of Optimus, so fast that it's almost unbelievable. According to a post by Milan Kovac on X, Optimus processes each control loop within just 2 milliseconds, meaning it updates its state approximately 400 times per second. This allows it to react extremely quickly to unexpected situations. Simply put, Optimus's AI brain is always looking ahead. It doesn't just react to current data, but proactively predicts upcoming situations to make optimal decisions. This is a capability that not all robots possess, even the most well-known models on the market. If you've followed the development of Tesla's full self-driving system, you'll understand that Optimus truly has the ability to anticipate situations before they happen. In Tesla's October 2024 update video, Optimus demonstrated its ability to climb stairs, but at that time, it was not yet capable of descending a much more challenging technical feat. To achieve this, the robot needs precise control over its center of gravity to avoid tipping over. However, after successfully navigating slope terrain in recent tests, Optimus appears to have overcome this obstacle. 
Its ability to move flexibly on inclined surfaces suggests that Optimus can perform more tasks in diverse environments. This opens up a wide range of applications, from harvesting crops in hilly areas and transporting items up and down stairs to assisting with household chores. It can easily move between floors to support home activities. Notably, Elon Musk once stated that Optimus and the Cybertruck would be the first two Tesla products sent to Mars if SpaceX succeeds with its spacecraft. With its rugged and uneven terrain, Mars presents an ideal environment for Optimus to showcase its latest capabilities. Additionally, the robot could be deployed in search and rescue missions in hazardous areas where human access is difficult. This is why recent improvements in Optimus's hands and mobility are highly regarded. Elon Musk once mentioned that Optimus could operate continuously for about 10 hours. At first glance, it might seem like the robot would require a massive battery to sustain such a long operation. However, Tesla has taken a surprisingly innovative approach to solving this challenge. How does Tesla provide power to Optimus? Based on Tesla's revealed plans to use its 4680 cells to power the Optimus robot, some believe this design might not be the most efficient for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to accommodate 4,680 cells, it may require a significant number of cells to achieve the necessary voltage. It is evident that Optimus is equipped with 90 cells of 4,680 batteries. This Tesla battery technology allows the robot to operate for 12 hours in a home environment, such as moving around the kitchen, cleaning the living room, or simply caring for the elderly or young children. After every 12 hours of operation, Optimus can automatically connect to an in-home charging station and take about one hour to recharge before resuming its tasks. Operating continuously throughout the day does not affect Optimus's functionality, as it is simply a robot, unlike humans. Tesla could utilize higher voltages to make Optimus operate more efficiently, but 48 volts is not an arbitrary choice. This is the threshold where electricity becomes hazardous to humans, so Tesla would avoid exceeding this value. Even at 48 volts, Optimus's battery pack will require some form of redundancy in case certain cells fail. Ideally, it should have multiple 48-volt modules connected in parallel to enhance output capacity and ensure backup power. Tesla claims that the Optimus battery will have a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt hours. Assuming an estimated capacity of 26 ampere hour for the 4,680 cells, two 48 volt modules connected in parallel would be required to achieve the 2.3 kilowatt hours capacity. Using 2,170 cells with approximately 5 ampere hour capacity would require 10 modules or 5 times the number of cells. While this approach would make the system more flexible and improve thermal management, it would also increase costs. This is why Tesla opts for larger cells for the robot, especially since they can produce them in large quantities at the Giga Nevada facility. Initially, it's no surprise that Tesla has considered using lithium iron phosphate batteries for the next generation Tesla bot. LFP cells are about one third cheaper than NMC cells, but have lower energy density. However, recent advancements in LFP Tekken have improved these cells to a level where they can compete more effectively with nickel-based cells. CATL, a leading manufacturer of LFP cells, has partnered with Tesla. Yet, recent reports suggest Tesla is relying on CATL to supply LFP batteries for its $25,000 Model 2 vehicle. This indicates that Optimus will likely not use LFP cells, as reducing the number of batteries required for the robot would help alleviate concerns about supply shortages for Tesla's robotics production. For Optimus to be truly useful as an assembly line robot in a factory, it needs sufficient battery capacity to sustain a full eight-hour shift of continuous operation. Compared to working at home, Optimus would need to perform much more intensive tasks in a factory setting which would drain its energy more quickly. However, with current fast charging capabilities, Optimus would only require about 30 minutes of charging to have enough energy for the next shift. Additionally, Tesla is likely to deploy multiple Optimus units, 
forming a replacement workforce so that when one group of Optimus robots is recharging, another is ready to step in, ensuring uninterrupted production in the factory. Tesla has come a long way in a short period in its efforts to bring its humanoid robot to consumers as soon as possible. There's no denying that a lot of work remains before Optimus is ready for sale, especially considering the utility it needs to deliver. Even at a price below $20,000, Optimus would become just a toy if the benefits it provides fail to meet customer expectations. Optimus will be upgraded with faster mobility. In recent episodes about the benefits and role of Optimus for both Tesla and consumers, most people acknowledge the progress Tesla has made with its robot. However, when it comes to walking posture, if you observe some other humanoid robots from Boston Dynamics or Unitry, they all have a bent knee gait similar to Tesla's Optimus. In fact, manufacturers are required to design them this way because when a robot adopts a bent knee posture, it lowers its center of gravity, making it easier for the robot to maintain balance. A lower center of gravity allows the robot to quickly adjust its posture during sudden position changes or when walking on uneven surfaces. Therefore, the gait doesn't seem to have much of an impact on their movement speed. When comparing the movement of Optimus Gen 1 to Gen 2, Tesla increased the mobility speed by 30% in its latest version. Furthermore, we learned that after the launch of Gen 2, a silent update followed, allowing an additional 30% increase in speed. This means Tesla engineers have increased the robot's speed by at least 60% since the release of the Bumblebee prototype. But don't worry too much as Elon Musk and the Optimus engineering team have confirmed a major update to enhance the robot's mobility speed. And, and I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision, which should be done by end of this year. This suggests that Tesla is working on an upgraded version or significant hardware redesign for the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot, including its exoskeleton, actuators, joints, sensors, and battery all critical components that contribute to Optimus's mobility speed. Meanwhile, on X, Tesla Optimus engineering team and Milan Kovac confirmed that Optimus's speed will continue to be upgraded to enable faster movement. He also mentioned that Optimus is being enhanced to handle more challenging terrains, which has been demonstrated in footage showing the robot moving nimbly over rough surfaces at high speed. While speed and legs are important, it would be even better if Tesla further optimized Optimus's upper body, particularly its hands. This is crucial since having well-designed hands enhances its ability to perform tasks in factories or homes. After all, these robots aren't competing in marathons. Their real value lies in excelling at practical and essential tasks. Optimus will feature a world-class hand design. Can you believe that even without upgrades, the hands of Optimus are already significantly different from those of other humanoid robots on the market? Very few robots have fully articulated five-fingered hands, let alone the number of degrees of freedom they possess. Most only feature claw-like hands with three fingers. It's rare to see a five-fingered hand, despite the increasing number of humanoid robots emerging from North America to China. It's not hard to deduce that the five-fingered design was created to make Optimus as human-like as possible, which also allows Tesla to incorporate more degrees of freedom into Optimus's hands. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom. Um, it will be able to play the piano. So it's, it's really like, wow. A hand capable of preparing a sandwich for breakfast, although not achieving the same level of perfection as a human hand due to being five degrees of freedom short, can still fold all the clothes in a wardrobe and clean up the kitchen. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent movements a robot or mechanism can perform. In the context of humanoid robots, degrees of freedom represent the mobility of joints in various parts of the robot's body. This is why the Tesla bot can effortlessly handle tasks requiring precision and flexibility. Um, so you could say pick up a cup, pick up a shirt, hold the shirt, uh, th these, these things will generalize, I think, quite quickly. It's no coincidence that Musk is confident about deploying thousands of these robots to work in Tesla's factories. Currently, the 11 degrees of freedom in Optimus's hands 
are nearly double those of many other humanoid robots, which only achieve 5 to 6 degrees of freedom. These 22 degrees of freedom across the robot's hands and arms hint at the upcoming Optimus Gen 3, as Musk referred to it as our next gen rather than the next update. This is further evidence that a more advanced version is set to launch by 2025. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.